Well, this is the day to day we get to the audio shop. We will be ripping out <clears throat> all of this Harmon carton that the truck comes with and replacing it with Morel three ways in the front, Morel two ways in the back, JL Audio amps, uh, JL Audio woofers, two TW 13 inch woofers from JL Audio with a custom made box from MTI. Mobile Toys Inc. for a superb rumbling sound system. We'll be adding extra accessories in here also too, like 24 hour surveillance, dash cams, rock lights, etc. Stay tuned for some amazing sounds. And it will be Max Tune by JL Audio's Max Tune. All these stock Harman Kardon speakers will be coming out of here. Out of the Dodge Limited. We will start off today with ripping it apart and matting it with uh, soundproofing, dampening to stop all the rattles and jiggles when the music is uh, on point. And believe me, I've done all my vehicles here for years, all my high end. And um, this place is the most phenomenal place you can ever get your audio done. These guys are pristine with their, with their shit. Yeah, I be here till four o'clock today, boss. Is there a message you want to leave for? Hey, What's going on, my man? What's going on? Got everything you need here in audio equipment and then some. Music for your bolts, marine speakers. Definitely got all your amazing home audio. Got your audio alarms. Backup cameras if your vehicle's not already installed with one. Morale amps. All your JL audio subs, W6s, W7s, W3s, W0s, you name it. Pioneer, Alpine, Infinity, JL audio, you name it. Harman Kardon Sound Wolfer, out of here. Tell them, Nate Dog, you the man at this shit. <laughs> Everything gotta go, gotta go! Dampening material to dampen the sound. The dampening material install it. Boom. Yeah. The hybrid 62, six and a half, two eight components. It's essentially the same speakers you have in the front, but just a two way set. <clears throat> We're going to run these passive in the rears. So you'll have your tweeter and then your same six and a half inch woofer. But we're going to run them passive through the crossover network off the VXI 808. Mm -hmm. Since we're doing uh, pro mode up front. Amazing high end music. And now we have front, front doors. And all the rear doors. Sound dampened. 
rear morale speakers. Where are you? Rear ceiling speakers. Is For the, what is this? Is the three and a half? Uh, no, these are going to be the one inch tweeters. Tweeters. Okay. One inch tweeters up top. And then three and a half in the, what's uh, the? Six and a half in the door. Six and a half in the rear doors. Nate Dog running the zero gauge from under the truck to drill into the back. How thick is that wire? Uh, I have to measure. I don't know, it's fatter than my big ass fingers. Oh. Oh. Six and a half woofers in the front doors. Morale. Six and a half going in the rear doors. Morale. Look how nice and precise these fellers tedious work. Everything coming along so beautifully. We got our crossovers for our rears here. Going to the VXI JL Audio amp. We got our distribution box over here. I had this Alpine PDX 1200 that thumped in my Escalade that uh, pumped two W6s and it pounded. So we're gonna utilize and see how this amp works in this setup with the TW5s. 13 inch woofers. We got our upper center behind this seat belt looking beautiful. For those songs that don't have bass, we're gonna have the bass from a old school rock and roll. If you can see right here, we got a BTC VXI Bluetooth. Not a Bluetooth to my phone or to my uh, tablet or whatever have we, because this amp with this VXI amp here. We could digital process different settings for how I want to sound for my music. And we can uh, toggle through the phone to switch different settings on it. Just beautiful technology for different tastes and listen of music from when we max tune this bad boy. Stay tuned. Good beautiful dyno mat back there. It's a million dollar setup, fellas. JL Audio 13s, TW5s. He's that stage. And now the final finale, Mark is setting up the JL Max Tune for the 2022 Dodge Ram build. So we already did uh, the Max Tune on the driver's side. So you have a sweet spot in the driver's side. We also left a raw map of how your vehicle speakers are, are to work. So if you want to look here, uh, we have two programs loaded up right now. So preset one is just mapped out as a normal system. Uh, your front three ways, so you have your tweet, your mid, and your mid bass driver, and then you have your component set going passive in the rear. And of course we mapped your subs through the pre-amp output to the um, Alpine. And then, of course, here you can see just the frequencies that we have, what the speakers can actually do uh, raw. And, of course, we did the max tune for the driver's side, which EQs each speaker individually. Uh, we phase compensate and we time delay everything so all the music, all the sounds from each individual driver within the system arrives directly in your sweet spot, which is around your head. And right. you look at the... If you look at the mic array in the vehicle, uh, that red microphone kind of mimics your nose. And then of course the two, uh, two outer microphones, the blue and the yellow kind of mimic your ears. 
So it kind of creates this headspace of sound where all the music arrives in this general area. So when you're listening to music, you really can't pinpoint where the music's coming from, from each individual speaker. It just sounds like the music's coming from the windshield. Right. Whereas on the regular non-max tune, you could actually hear each speaker driver doing its thing. Uh, so you could kind of pinpoint where symbols are coming from or what have you. Whereas with the max tune, it makes everything um, more uh, coherent up on the dash. So the, the music is an experience versus uh, what we're used to in the normal right. uh, system. So now I'm working with max tune passengers. So now I'm just going to remap the amplifier to be able to just feed um, a sound, uh, what we call peak noise, from my laptop. But they're going to be inversed of what we had. So uh, obviously we time delay everything to the latest arriving sound, which is a subwoofer, which is at 13.82 milliseconds. But now since uh, we're tuning the passenger side, everything's going to flip. So now it's showing me that the uh, left front tweeter is arriving a lot earlier than what the sub is. So if I look at the sub, I need to kind of lower the... It's essentially getting all your music... Uh, all the frequencies, all the the excitement of what you're paying for to arrive in your listening area all at once, so your ears don't get confused as to where's anything coming from. It's just it's it's kind of like having a concert on wheels. It's like you're experiencing a front row um, favorite musician, uh, you know, artist concert that you paid tons of money for. You pay eight hundred, nine hundred dollars for a concert ticket. If you're investing, you know, fifteen, twenty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in your vehicle sound system, you want to have that same experience. So time alignment. What, time alignment. Yeah, that's exactly what what uh, Max Tune is is helping us achieve. You're the man. You are the man.